What's up, man? It's your boy, Mr. Nick Bag TV, aka Blogaholic, back in the building, back in the mix. Right now, about to get into this. Y'all heard the news, man? Rick Ross, I guess he's back with Reebok, man. Um, it, it, it's just some, it's, it's a footage, some footage going on online right now that Rick Ross was at a Reebok sponsored event where he sung the verse from Jay Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail. Fuck with me, you know I got it. Where the verse he says, um. Reebok's, I just do it, nigga. That that's the line right there. And Reebok has brought him back up on board. Such some um something that a lot of people are saying right now. What do y'all think about that, man? Isn't it interesting that you know? And, and this is what I always say, man. Hip hop is is sold out so much that it's just people just look at it and say that's a good move. That's being a hustler. And it's like back in the day, it was like unwritten rules. Like I remember, you know, MC Hammer. Was trying to get a, a, I think it was a Kentucky Fried Chicken, and they just like clowned him. They just went in on him, like it was just like that's something you don't do. You don't sell the culture out. Now looking back in retrospect, looking back, you might say, well, I mean, I was kind of dumb that they would take such a harsh, harsh stance towards you know MC Hammer just doing um, a commercial for Kentucky Fried Chicken when you know his musical talents brought him that. Um, opportunity and it all through hip-hop and basically him being on Kentucky Fried Chicken rapping is furthering hip-hop. Now you can look at it like that or you can look at it the other way of saying it's commercializing an uh, art form that was meant to mean more to the, the people. Like it was more of something that meant more than just making a quick buck off of it. I mean that's some of the purists. That's how some people feel about it. But those days are gone, man. It's 2013 right now. And you know and I know hip-hop is for sale. Like, they selling anything. They will say anything. Look at your favorite rapper, Jay-Z. Had the song Tom Ford. He said the name Tom Ford like a hundred times. And people just saying it. Don't know why. It's just a good song. When it's basically a, 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 on, it's a commercial. Jay-Z is a corporate whore. He's pushing Tom Ford. Why is he pushing Tom Ford? Y'all can't afford it. Y'all shouldn't even want to know about Time For It. Y'all can't even afford the Ford Focus. It's all the Time For It. You feel me, though? It's like, why? Why is he, like, introducing people? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too deep. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. Y'all look at it differently. Y'all praise these dudes. Y'all look at what they say, like the gospel. Me, I look at it as being more, man. Like, Jay-Z is in the position, like I said before, to say so much stuff that can just change so many people's lives. And he... Just go ahead and promote ignorance, but at the same time, moving up the ladder of success with text. You build and destroy. We're still climbing, still shining. It's out the mob deep. But he's still moving up, you know, meeting all type of people, and he's not giving none of that back to us but the same nonsense. You don't know nothing about Wayne Perry, though. Like, Wayne Perry, why we need to know about him? We want to know about Warren Buffett, bro. You feel me? But that's just Jay-Z, and y'all hate it or love it. That's what he does. But... Let's get back to Rick Ross in this whole getting back with Reebok deal, man. I, I I mean, I'm not saying he should have went back to Reebok, but I think it would have meant so much more to hip-hop if Reebok would have dropped Dude over a line that they didn't understand, and he came back and dropped the diss song, dissing the hell out of Reebok. But did he do that? No, he didn't. He wanted to go back, go with Jay-Z, go back on his knees to his master, shout out the name again, with a song called Fuck With Me, You Know I Got It, where he say Reebok, I Just Do It, nigga. He get a deal back with using the word nigga. It's all psychological, white supremacy, all type of stuff going on around here. Y'all ain't peeping it, man. But it's, it's just weird. It's just weird to me. Stuff like that happens, and people really don't say one word to it. When back in the day, that was unheard of. The culture is changing. It's your boy, 